Okay, how's it going? And we're back for some more Creation Club content released recently. Indeed, this lot looks quite decent and includes Spell Knight Armor, coming in with three variants of Heavy Armor, Arms of Chaos, where you try to restore the artifacts of Chaos and you'll get two new staves, an, en an Ancient Ring and an Enchanted Amulet, and Umbra, an artifact from Oblivion and Morrowind. And I've just released a video on Umbra, so go check that out. Well worth a look in my opinion. And anyone who follows me knows I'm a huge fan of the Thieves Guild, so this is a mod I am personally interested in. So my review is going to be totally and utterly compromised and biased. I thought I'd just make you aware of that. So the quest is automatically put into your quest list as usual, and you must travel to Riften, to the Red Flagon Inn next to Thieves Guild Sanctum in the Ratway. And oh by the way, there's three entrances to this place and I'll show you at the end of the video. Once at the inn, you speak to the bartender and purchase a house for a very, very princely sum. Once you've done that, the home is yours. So now I'll cut to some pretty shots and music and I'll see you at the other side for a walk around and my final review. Catch you later.
Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Quite a cool looking home in my humble. So now let's take a wander around the house together, starting with the smithing area. And there's not a lot to say really. It's got the usual stuff like a workbench, a tanning rack, uh, put the smelter in the cooking pots, anvil and stuff like that. So it's all really good. It's all there, all complete, everything you need. Though I am personally obviously a bit of a fan of keeping the enchanting alchemy and smithing area in one room. But I can see why that wouldn't be done in this case, and you'll probably see why later. So yeah, nice, it's kept out of the room at the front, uh, towards the ratway, pretty damn cool. So we'll take a wander down into the actual home itself. And we come down, I actually don't really do like this room, actually, this home, sorry. And you've got your bookshelves, and obviously this isn't a, uh, a library. You've only got a few open shelves here, but you do have bookcases all around and lots of places you can sit. I must admit, I'm a fan of the open bookshelves uh, rather than the cupboards. Though I guess uh, when the shelves are empty, the, the, the cupboards do look uh, more aesthetically pleasing. And you've got your little table and a little picture of uh, Rifton there. And you've got a display case with a Nordic dagger. And your shrine of Akatosh. There's a little bit of uh, stuff where the, uh, the stuff is raised a bit there. Kitchen is complete. The only thing this hasn't got um, is a butter churner. Um, and the only reason why that could be important is if you want to make garlic bread, which cures vampirism. But it does have the oven and all the other bits and bobs. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Yeah, it's neat. Oh, this is a typical Eleanor mod. It's, 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 it's cool. Really well done. Lots of stuff around. The only one thing I would say is a lot of this stuff isn't static, so it can get knocked off and with the Skyrim mechanics of actually putting stuff on shelves, can be a bit of a pain. Um, I don't know why Skyrim didn't give that more thought actually. And there you go, you've got your shelves. Well, you, good luck trying to get everything on those shelves though. And you open up the cabinet. I love that. I, I, I love that. And by the way, none of that is static there, so you can take the individual plates and stuff. And wandering round into the main bedroom. And a decent looking room it is as well. Plenty of storage here. We have a couple of wardrobes. Yeah, knapsack, so loads and loads of places to put your gear if you want to. A nice looking room, so it's quite big. And if you come over here, you've got another cabinet and everything falls out. <laughs> so all this stuff you can take and uh, put away. I, d I do like the cabinets. Yeah, Bethesda should have done a better mechanic than that. Um, putting stuff on shelves, it is a pain. So you've got your little chair here, you've got your safe and a few more cupboards. That's not a seat or a chest. Or if it is, I missed the hitbox. And you've got a shine, a shine, a shrine of Mara there. And you've got the lusty Argonia made on one and two. So plenty to keep you occupied, occupied on those lonely nights. And if we take a kip, you'll get the well rested bonus. And coming round into the kiddies room. Now here's the thing here. Why would you bring your kid to live here? This, this in my opinion, this should be a followers room. Um, I guess it could be used as a followers room. You, you wouldn't bring your kids to live in a, in the rat way. Essentially, you're living in a sewer. Let's be honest. Okay, loads of bits of bobs, books and stuff. Actually, nicely, nicely done. the shrine of Kinnereth there and you've got the practice dummy 
But again, I do have to question whether you should bring kids into this place or not. I don't think it's really suitable. you got Breeze Home, which would be better, to be honest with you. And I'm sure they'd like it more. And we come to the trophy room, which is these days one of uh, Eleonora's um, specialities. And that's a skill book there, some recipes, and a few little ingredients and stuff. But again, she thought about it well. There are places to put your stuff, your alchemy ingredients, and etc. All the cupboards there. Two cupboards each side. So there's two cupboards there. You're enchanting. And your enchanting table. So yeah, you can pop your stuff there. That's really important, by the way, so you can keep yourself organised. And come round. It's got plenty of weapon racks. And if you look up there, that's the, these are all shield racks along here. I left it open so you can see places for your uh, bugs in a jar, your paragons. Always pretty damn cool, I like that. And a little shrine to the nightingales. So you can put your nightingale armour, the blade, the nightingale flag there. And your bow. You can see what I mean by the shields, that's quite cool. All I've done is I put all the uh, the Rifting Guards there. And for your Dragon Master, including the um, Dragonborn DLC ones. And you've got the claw mounts as well. Now, I like the way she's done this. She's put them on shelves because normally when they put them on the wall, which a lot of modders do, they quite often fall out. Uh, I think the shelves work better. Now, wandering around, we've got here the Thieves Guild part of it. Now, there is an issue here. Um, I have a spider control rod and I have chill rend and they will not go on at all. So that hopefully is a bug to be fixed. Also, is your, uh, by the way, your uh, loot as when you become guild master. Yeah, a lot of the dummies, as you can see here, are they're a bit erratic and um, hopefully again, that can be sorted out. Yeah, they keep on moving uh, all of them all the time, so that, that does need to be sorted. So yeah, having a wander around. Oh, what I've done is I've got all the um, guards of the, uh, the game in here. I thought that's something that a thief would uh, actually use as a disguise. And got the, uh, uh, the assassin's armour as well. So I love this room. I think this room is absolutely bloody fantastic. But I wouldn't expect anything less from uh, Eleonora. Yeah, good work up. Yeah, you've done good. I like it. Yeah, so one last little look at that. I do like that. And I do love the fact it's hidden in a, in a secret room. Yeah, cracking. Okay, so I did mention uh, there were three entrances into the uh, this home, or th yeah, to, to actually get to the right way to get in here. Uh, now this one is your escape entrance, so simply walk up to the smithing area. Dive right in. Come here, and what this do, this will bring you out to Skyrim. Now what will happen is you'll discover the um, Riften Docks, and you can fast travel to and from this point. And this will bring you um, out here. And to get back in, it's a bit clunky this actually, to be fair, um, but it works, clunk in, and there you go. I do like the idea of a secret um, escape route, and it just brings you in Smithway, the smithing area, sorry. Pretty cool, I do like it, nice one. Okay, so let's have a look at the three entrances. Uh, the first one is obviously down through the uh, rat run, or ratway, or whatever they call it. It's ratty something. So you simply pop down here, and I think most of you have done this, but uh, I'm not going to do any spoilers for you. Anybody who's followed my channel knows uh, this off my heart. Okay, and you just pop in through this door. 
And the next is through the Thieves Guild entrance. Obviously, you have to be a member of the Thieves Guild to get access to this. Um, again, through the Ratway or through the Thieves Guild, it doesn't really make that much difference. Uh, they're both, both pretty clunky ways to get into a home, to be honest. So, yeah, literally hit the button and off you go. And the uh, third and final entrance to the home is through the sewer, uh, as I showed you earlier on, your escape entrance. Um, this is probably actually the easiest way to get in, in my opinion. I just wish um, she'd put like a pontoon there that you fast travelled to. It just seems a little bit less clunky to get in and out, but uh, there you go. That's the quickest way to get in, in my opinion. So there are the three entrances into your new home. So what do I think of it? Well, my final thoughts on this are that this is a really decent home. Whatever role you're playing, but especially so as a thief, the home is really well laid out and is very pleasing on the eye. And the trophy room is excellent. The only teeny weeny turd in the suit is I wish there was a kind of pontoon at the drain entrance you could fast travel to and from. It's just a little clunky getting in and out, but it's only a small gripe. It's not a deal breaker, well, not for me anyway. Now, I won't go too much into the money thing as I think everyone knows my thoughts on Creation Club prices, except to say that this costs 400 credits, which is around $4 or three pound in real money. But I would say that I would actually buy this home for that price. But as I mentioned uh, at the beginning of the video, I love the Thieves Guild. So that does add extra value for me. So to sum up, a great home, I love it but I most definitely wouldn't bring my kids to live here. It's a home for single near-do-wells, not for families, definitely not for families. Anyway, all that said, I hope I've shown you enough for you to decide if this mod is right for you or not. I hope you like the vid. See you later. Love you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and hit the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribed, obviously. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter. See you later.